we're back. Right. I happen to like the new blazers. I think they're quite charming and quite stylish for our uh, athletic teams, especially the contact sports teams, where they can be a little bit more sophisticated than wearing helmets and bashing each other. To well, this is just this oh. is just for the parade of the opening ceremony. Oh yes, it's just for the parade. But it's the just wrestlers are not going to wear these no. outfits to wrestle. I understand it. I understand. But I like the beret. I think it gives us kind of a European look, a socialist look. Okay, that a lot of people like in this country now, according to the critics of Obama. Well, that's, now, just, that's a matter of taste. It is a matter of taste. No. So what's your? I, I, I think the outfits are fine. I'm absolutely uh, Not made spectacularly ill qualified. Well, yeah, the the clothing, which would be no surprise to anybody, find somebody who's wearing some clothes that are made in America. You probably can find some. The majority are made. That was made in America. Made in America. It's on my that's, label. That's rare. It's a Hart Shafter and Marks jacket. In case you want to know. Doesn't necessarily mean it was made in it America. It says it's made in America. Oh, well, then it probably was. It says, it says made in the, let me see, made in the USA since, let me see. Oh, it does say that. 1887. I, yeah. I wouldn't know. Where is your Maybe stuff? Maybe it was assembled in Where the USA. Where is your stuff made? What's this? I got no idea. Do you don't look before you no, buy it? No, I don't. You just pick up whatever you like? Yeah. You know, I do. Yeah. Nice and I got a suit. I got a comment. Of, eh, it's not. It's well, it's suit. very nice for, but for a Chinese here's, suit. Here's the deal. Go ahead. Uh, so, <laughs> Harry Reid waxed indignant. I think it's a shame they should be burned. Who paid for them, Harry? Not the taxpayers. I know. Not you. It wasn't, you, had, you guys had nothing to do with it. It was the, the U.S. Olympic Committee, which raises its money from private donors. Listen, this is a global economy. What, what if, what if you said, the Olympians are flying to London on Chinese planes? Yeah. Or in an Airbus. Well, the Chinese <laughs> are flying to London on U.S. planes. I mean, it's a global economy. If you want a, people to buy stuff from you, you sell stuff to them. What, what is wrong with, you know, the, the, the government wants to act like um, most, most people don't act. I mean, they're all about making statements with taxpayer money. We buy union stuff. We want to pay the union price. If jobs are cheaper in Sri Lanka, you shouldn't do it because you ought to be patriotic. If you're going to rely on people acting against their economic interest to save this country after you screwed it all up and made everything too expensive, it's going to fail. Yeah. You know what? So the clothes are made in China. Big deal. I, 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 it's just a tempest in a peapot. And, and the typical suspects... Senator Schumer, that theme park of stupid ideas, Senator Schumer, the schmuck from New York, and Harry Reid. Yeah, but some of your Republicans are beating oh, that. Oh, Bonnier. Yeah. Bonnier be beating that drum, Listen, too. Phony patriotism, yeah. I really think, was invented by the Republican Party. <laughs> by God, the United States can't be demeaned with Chinese clothes. <laughs> You know what the legislation? You know what the proposed, where are your clothes? The proposed resolution or res whatever yeah. they're doing in Congress it says this: the clothes shall be made in America or sewn in what America. <laughs> because they're they're all of the fabrics are coming from overseas. How do they get to dig? What if they said if you go on within reason, you have to wear all American clothes, including well, your shoes? One of us is. <laughs> no, no. One definitely of us, not. One of us is. All right, I want to change the subject because okay, I want to ask you. That's do you, our, that's do you have anything else? Do you about, like the, about the Olympics? Do you like the berets? Ah, uh, I don't know. One year they had Western hats, which looked a little, a little goofy to me. The yeah. berets are all right. What do you right. want? One year they wore fedoras. Remember that? I do. Oh, those were all I don't right. know if I do remember. I don't that. know. I mean, the world of fashion is basically silly. Ralph Lauren did this. And, and why shouldn't they get a decent, you know, they'd have to set up a whole different manufacturing chain because the Americans probably aren't set up to do Hickey it. Hickey Freeman said they can knock it out in two weeks. Can they? I think the fabrics all came from overseas. Though. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I have another. Just, I have another. So you think they they passed a law I that did, Olympians can't wear clothes some from China? No, there's some resolution. There's some aspect of something. I just saw it. Uh, Why does the government get to dictate that? Why does the government get to dictate any of this? Well, you and I are what in about agreement. the land of the free? You and I are in agreement on that. Now, I, I, have a, I have another. You know what? what? Now what? <laughs> they're they're going to pass something where the government can take over all the means of communication, and they're working toward being able to take all of your cell phones and send you a text in case of emergency. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh. Just like the Give national ID cards. The real ID Act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a dangerous thing. I think conservatives, liberals, 
Libertarians, we all agree. Yeah. You can't do well, this. The, you know, you the, can't the, do it. The, the Republican Party has given up the idea of liberty mm. uh, in, in honor of this faux patriotism. I can put my hand over my and I wear more lapel pins than anybody. I am so patriotic, I spit on every foreign country. Yeah. Now, now everybody has to put their hand over their heart. I think if you right. even play a, a John Philip Sousa march, you put your hand over your heart now. Yeah, probably. Okay. All right, I, I have another person to forgive. I'm gonna, oh, might do, I might do two a week. Kind of on a roll here. I am on a roll. I am forgiving Mark Rick. Really? Yeah. You know who Mark Rick is? Yeah. He's a, he was a big financier. Clinton no, no, pardoned him. Different one. Oh, that, it's Mark Rich. Rich. Mark Rick is an, another malefactor yeah, well, you're forgiving. Yeah, yeah. well, the, the, I don't think he pronounced his last name Rich. I think it's Rick, but I could be wrong about that. He's the coach okay. of Georgia, right? Oh, All I right, didn't know a, Yeah, Mark Rich. So here's what I'm going to forgive him for. In two, year 2000, so this is more current. Yeah, in year it's only two, 12 years ago. <laughs> in year 2000, FSU went to the national championship game, Okay. There's a pattern of these forgivenesses. <laughs> well, these two happen to involve athletics, but I have a lot of others out there that I'm getting Not them all just any athletics, the place where you went to school. <laughs> well, I know more about that. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you a Penn State question in just a second, okay? okay. So, he, he goes to the national championship game. He has a Heisman Trophy winning quarterback. Mm -hmm. They have a fa fabulous team, but just before that, he takes a job or accepts a job to go to the University of Georgia's head football coach. Mm -hmm. So they implement no game plan at all. Terrible. They score three points a whole game, and they lose the national championship game. And, of course, the next day he's on the plane recruiting his players. I actually used to spread this rumor. I had no basis for it whatsoever, that he actually was recruiting while he was in the press box calling the game. But I don't think that's true. But anyway, I forgive him. Okay. Uh, and I mean, what about Joe Paterno? Did, all right, here's Joe Paterno. you forgive him? I'm not involved with that because I didn't okay. go to Penn State. Okay. okay. But these people are going to have a hard time forgiving him, I think, because there are some hard feelings up there. But here's, here's what I want to ask you about. One of the sports writers has written this, that this shameful conduct of the Sandusky guy and the cover-ups and, oh, by the way, I've got, this is, he's gonna, this is the best question of the whole program. The president of the University Spaniard uh -huh. made him resign, didn't he? Yeah. Not quite. Oh. He's a tenured faculty member. Well, you can't kick him out. His name is riddled through this report by the FBI guy, Free, riddled through it, directly involved, covered everything up. But now, you know where he's teaching? I didn't know. I'm going to give you the name of the department. Uh -huh. Growth and Human Development. That's what he's a specialist at, because he's had some he's had experience. A lot of experience. He's yeah. had a lot of experience yeah. with human but, but development. But there's some outrageous suggestions about how to, how to deal with this. Well, here's what they're saying. The sports writers, the sports writers saying Penn State should have to forfeit all their games, and here's his logic, because had this been disclosed, they might not have recruited as many players, those players might not have won the game, and so therefore, they want to punish all the players, all the Penn State alumni and fans, and take away all their victories, and then make Joe Paterno not the number one football coach in the oh, country. Da da da, da 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 You know, those players had nothing to do with Jerry Sandusky. They didn't receive any extra anything because of that. That's all speculation about the recruiting and stuff. Yeah, it, it's it, it, logically we call it causation, right? Yeah. yeah. What's the what, what's, well, what's the problem? What's the causal well, chain? What's the problem in the link there? Right? It, it's just too it's just, too, yeah. too many ways it's to just break too it. Remote. Yeah. It's too remote. So. So you don't agree with that, right? Absolutely not. Yeah, but no, it that's is kind of silly. Don't you think it's now the people yeah. who cover it up getting fired? Absolutely. How can the president, who has been involved in this up to his ears, be teaching there? By the way, I you know what know. the president was making? No. You know what his salary was? While they were covering up, messing around with little oh, kids. Three, four hundred grand a year. Five forty-five. Wow. Five forty-five. Now, now, in most states, if if you know about child abuse you, and you don't report it, that's a crime. There's no. Everybody else has been charged with the crime. Well, what, what no one seems to have a good explanation for. And this is the latest that I've read, read on the internet: is the Spaniard is still teaching up there. Okay, oh. he's teaching in the Growth oh, and well. Human Development Department. Okay, but. You know, this is in the great American sports tradition of overreacting to everything. Overreacting. Yeah, it is. And yeah. I feel bad for the players and bad, bad for the university. And it's a wonderful university. Yeah. It has a great reputation and they had, academically. And there was a lot good about their football program, a lot good about the university. Oh, it was wonderful. It's, it is a terrible flaw. 
and Joe, Joe Paterno was revered by everybody. He ran a clean program, and his kids, students graduated. They had a good graduation They rate. did, they did. And they, they had good teams. And they let one guy. That's a shame. As soon as, as soon as that happened, I think it was in 98, I think you said, one, and, our, and our producer said for the program, if you'd have seen that happening to a young child like that. How could you, you not? And this was a react. big strapping, that McCrary guy's big, tough strapping guy, and he goes, oh, I'm, I'm going to run away and talk to somebody about this. So what? You'd have gone and just knocked hell out of the guy. What are you talking about? You know, was well, no explanation what that, what for that it. What that guy saw in the shower in the locker room, that's a horrible crime. It is. You've got to report it. And doing that's nothing. That's what you do. And then they all covered it up. You don't cover it up or say, well, if you promise to be good. Yeah. You say, I'm, Jerry, I'm real sorry. i got to call the police about this. And then you explain it to them. Want well, to know about the latest? Ah, yes. we got time for an update of the great gas grab. The great Gulf Breeze gas grab. All right. What's really going on? All right. Here's what's really going on. It took us a little while to figure it out, but I think we have it figured out. But you are the first one, at least at least to my knowledge, you're the first one to break this story. It, well, we, it, we talked about it initially, and, I, and we, to be frank about it, we are getting Where people, did you get this story? You have some undisclosed source? I couldn't tell you. We are getting people calling us and sending us very interesting things. I, I mean, it's hard to sort through them because this isn't a full-time deal for us, but we welcome anybody to send us anything. And if we're wrong about something, write to us, tell us, straighten us out. We'll read it on the air. And our goal is not to just whack on this with, without being accurate about it. So here's what's going on. You know the history of the, of the yeah, there's the Energy right. Services of Pensacola is the gas company. They've been in talks with Gulf Breeze about joint venturing, in essence, gas supply to Pensacola Beach, right. all right? Because these pipes have to go through Gulf Breeze. Of course they and do. And we're already sending gas to Gulf Breeze, by the way, on a break-even price basis, which somebody needs to start asking some questions about that, and it's been going on for years. But anyway, this gas is going to Gulf Breeze. They're shooting it out to their customers, marking it up, making a profit, and they're shooting it to the people outside the city of Gulf Breeze, we've mentioned this before, at a very substantial increase. And that's what what they have in mind for Pensacola Beach. I don't right. think there's any question about it. Here's what's really going on. They're not doing that altruism. Not not the crappy no. little town across the bay. No, 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 not the little city across the bay. Here's what's going on. They're going to immediately, I'll say immediately, within a short period of time of nailing this down by appeasing the city council, by schmoozing up the Escambia County Commission, which, by the way, should never have authorized this in, in March of 12, in March of 2012. Never, ever should have done this. After the fact, they already laid all the pipe. It was already out there. Well, and, so, and the county commission, you pointed this out to me. This isn't my idea. Yeah. Why didn't the county commission say, well, yeah. what are you going to charge our citizens, our Scambia County citizens right. on the beach? Do you get just to charge whatever you want for this monopoly, or are you going to make sure that they get good rates? The executive director... Uh, of the Santa Rosa Island Authority is running for office, not <clears throat> not in Escambia County. His loyalty as the head of the SRIA is to the citizens of Escambia County because that's our island. Okay, he's running for office in Santa Rosa County, so they make a deal with Santa Rosa County with the city of Gulf Breeze. Why did they make this deal? Here's what's happening, Bill. They intend to securitize or monetize mm -hmm. that flow yeah. of revenue. See, meaning you can take a flow of cash that's been promised to you right. and get it turned into a bond or something that produces a lot of immediate money now. Or sell it. Yeah. Uh, or, or sell or, a stream or of secure, income. Or securitize it with, <clears throat> with, a, with a bond. And they brought in an expert who knows exactly how to do this, who's been right in the mix of this from the beginning. So what's going to happen? If they pull this off, it will free up at least six and maybe as much as eight or nine or ten million dollars of capital for the city of Gulf Breeze that the city of Pensacola will get nothing out of because the Public Service Commission does not regulate gas fee uh, prices to the customers they'll be able to jack that price up to customers on Pensacola Beach which is probably in their overall plan for the securitization but of course there wouldn't be any opportunity at all for any private citizens to make any money out of this deal, no right? no no with not, a few exceptions not the finance people not the middlemen not the bond people they're all well Actually, they're all living Gulf Breeze, come to think of mm. it. Yeah, so Maybe that, they might make a, yeah, they a might bucks. make a little bit. There might be a million and a half or so that floats around on the deal. All we're saying is this. Energy Services of Pensacola, 
draw the line on these people in Gulf Breeze. Number two, don't buy for a second that this is a gesture of being a good neighbor. Number three, either litigate with them or hold their feet to the fire. Make the city of Gulf Breeze turn over the title to that ga those gas pipes to Energy Services of Pensacola. Let Energy Services of Pensacola pay them over time. Let those customers on the beach be Energy Service of Pensacola customers. Give the Gulf Breeze uh, 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 gas company a little pass-through money or some other g revenue generating thing. Sharing thing, which is what they tried to do. Right. They tried to this come up with a revenue outrage. sharing this thing. Is it is, outrage. It's outrageous. I mean, the, yeah. the, the county commission, all of these people. How did, how did our county terrible. commission in March of 2012 just approve this resolution Get and nobody says what's going on and once again the loser is the city of pensacola city which of pensacola. is where a lot of the escambia not the majority certainly but a lot of escambia county residents live Fifty thousand of them but the citizens of escambia county lost that live on the island they get no protection from these excessive fees now somebody might say well you guys don't have it just right fine write yeah, to us and tell, tell us, us because you know what we're not finished with this. There's yeah. more to it. So those of you who know some more. Maybe the people doing the securitization work are going to do it for free. That's may, impossible. Well, that's possible. There wouldn't be any charge for that. It's a nice thought. And that the bond guys would do it for nothing and they could waive all their bond fees. That, you know, it, There are too many hands in, in and around the cash register not to raise some suspicion. This is Within Reason, Bob Kerrigan and Bill Rankin. Good night. And we will see you next week. And thank you very much for watching tonight.